Welcome to the channel. So this one we're talking about shutter speed. This video is part of the Learn Photography playlist. If you click up above, you can see the full list of videos and you can choose the ones you're interested in. Okay, so shutter speed. Shutter speed is how quickly your lens shutter opens and closes. So exactly as it says, the shutter speed. A slower shutter speed is going to be going up, staying up, closing. And while that time that shutter is open, it's more prone to movement. So if you're going to open something or move something like this for a while, it's going to show blurry. Whereas if you want something that's running past to be quick, you want a quick shutter speed because it's taking a snapshot of that moment. So if I had shut it like that, if something's going past, I'll go and it'll actually freeze and take a snapshot of that object moving in front of me and freeze it in time. So it's like a quick flick. And I'll give you an example of that here with my South Park character. Comment below if you know his name. I, I, I can't think what his name is. Okay guys, so I'm in the garage now because it's quite light outside and I want um, a dark environment to be able to show you the um, shutter speed. So basically here we have South Park guy on a light stand and I'm just taking a few shots. This is at 1 50th of a second. It's a 50 millimeter lens. So in theory, I shouldn't get any lens blur or wobble because it's the same number as the lens. That's a good trick. Um, but my plan here is going to be to show you a blurry photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake the camera as I take the photo and reduce the shutter speed a lot. So you can see it's getting darker there. That's because I've reduced the, the shutter speed. Um, so I'll first the ISO I brought down uh, lower to make it. Uh, let in less light which means I have to lower the shutter speed which lets in more light so it's the opposite of that so now I'm going to start giving you a bit of a low there you go see that I'm moving that up and down and I'm taking a photo so now if I show you the result of that photo you'll see it's blurry so in some scenarios it's not a good thing but when you want to take pictures of moving objects like I did last year with the motorbikes and the cars it's a good effect to have because the background gets blurred and if you track motion with the moving object, they come in sharp. So it's a fine trick. But if you want to see that separately, let me know. This is just an overview, but I'll give you like a more detailed um, explanation of it. This is just to give you an idea as a learner what shutter speed does to your photos, basically. 